Same coverage now. The Cuban Raptor crisis was paramount two decades ago, but now it seems the numbers are starting to increase once again. CBS 4 Cynthia Dimas takes a look at why. Today, the latest show of desperation for migrants trying to reach the shore. Just last month, a group of migrants showed up in this rickety steel-framed boat with some kind of car or truck engine. The group at sea, 10 days. The numbers of Cuban migrants coming to the U.S. are again increasing drastically. So the numbers seem to be going up. Yeah. Why is this happening? Just look at the past. This is just the same cycle building up again. Jose Basulto, a pilot, started Brothers to the Rescue, which is not operating now. The group would aid those making that 90-mile trek from Cuba to Florida. Basulto meets every Monday with a group at Larios in South Miami to talk about the day's events. With today's major event, he says... People just who want to leave, they, they can't cope with it anymore. Raul Castro came into power in 2008. Those we spoke with today say his reform is not working. It's catching up to him, so now another wave of Cubans are fleeing. 25,000 Cubans arrived by land and sea in the United States without travel visas in the fiscal year that just ended on September 30th. Not since the Raptor crisis of 94 has the U.S. seen so many Cuban migrants. The Cuban government's also loosened up those travel restrictions, making it easier to travel to places like Mexico where Cubans can cross the border into the U.S. But by sea, the U.S. Coast Guard spotted 3,722 Cubans in the past year, almost double the number who were intercepted in 2012. Although the number migrating by sea hardly compares with the summer of 94, the number of illegal and legal Cuban immigrants combined has now surpassed the number of those who arrived during that crisis 20 years ago. A cycle, says Basulto, where we will continue to see the numbers rise, at least for now. Come April, the Immigration Department releases its numbers, and the numbers of migrants who enter the U.S. this year alone are expected to be astonishing. In South Miami, I'm Cynthia Dimas, CBS 4 News. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage on the migrants' rescue.